G'day guys, welcome back. I'm painting for the first time in my new studio today. I've spent the last couple of days uh, changing my garage into my painting studio. So, hope it's all good, hope the light's okay, hope the sound's okay. And we shouldn't get so much noise from dogs and wild birds in here, so let's hope that's good. So, today, uh, I just want to use some paints that I've either got a lot of or I don't really like the colour of, so just to get rid of them. And I'm doing three parts flow troll to two parts glue. And instead of my normal three parts pouring medium to one part paint, I've increased the amount of paint. So I'm just doing two parts pouring medium to one part paint. Just to see if I get a better clarity of overall paint. So it's not so diluted. So for cells today, I'm using the Coconut Milk Hair Serum. And let's go cell crazy today. Let's do one drop per ounce or one drop per 30 grams. So in these cups, I have 90 grams of pouring medium and 45 grams of paint. That's a two to one ratio. So let's do uh, four, one, two, three, four. Normally I wouldn't use that much coconut milk hair serum, but let's just go crazy today for cells. Lots and lots of cells for those people that like cells. And I won't put any in the black. Okay, so four in each. And I'll give that a good stir because coconut milk hair serum is really quite thick. So it can be stirred well. Some of the other silicones, like the treadmill silicone, it's really, really thin. And you give that a stir and it just dissolves straight away into the paint. Oops, I've got paint on my thumb, I think. I should hold the cups down here instead. And then my paints don't get contaminated. Okay, so I haven't got any white. I'm just going, I've got black, which is that one. And I have marina, which is a light bluey green color. This dark one is called Harbour Nights. It's kind of a gray blue. And then cobalt is this one. And the end is just the normal turquoise. So, Let's get to layering. I'll layer each colour twice. And I've just gone dark, light, dark, light, dark, as I always do. My work surface today is my 30 centimetre by 40 centimetre thick card. This one's a 550 gram in thickness, a 12 by 16 inch. I think if you're in the States, it's 0.46 is what they call it. I did put a link for it, uh, if you are in the States, on my Facebook group page, the Australian Acrylic Pouring page. So I had so many people ask about it. So I did put a link to Amazon there as to where you can get it. Uh, if you're in Australia, I just get it on eBay, and I also put a link on my page for that. But you can just search thick card, A3 card. It should come up with a few sellers. I think from memory it was about $30 for a pack. Uh, how many were in a pack? I can't remember. 70 or 80, um, oh, that many, so quite a lot. 
All right, back to layering. So there's no bought pouring medium in this today. It's just Floetrol and glue. I find if for flip cups, if I just use Floetrol, my mix is too thin. So I'm trying to get a mix that will work for flip cups as well as for swipes. But if I get one that's really good for flip cups, it's too thick for swipes. So I'm still working on it. I did have a good one, which was three parts flow troll, one part glue, half a part pouring medium and a quarter part water. And that worked really well for my flip cups. And all I had to do was add a teaspoon of water to each cup before using it as a swipe. So that may work. A lot of paint here today. I do like to use a lot of paint. I was talking to one lady on Facebook this morning actually. She did a, I think she said it was a 16 inch by 24 inch and she used three five ounce cups, which is only three cups with 150 grams of painting each. And I said to her, wow, uh, for that size, I would use four 10 ounce cups of paint. So she was really surprised, but she was saying, oh, I put the paint on and I had to really stretch it because I lost all my cells trying to cover it. So that's exactly why I use so much paint because you do, you pour your paint on and then you have to stretch it so much to cover your surface and then you're not happy with it. So you're better off making the extra paint, as I've always said. And then you've got a lot of paint to move around. And yes, it will be relatively thick on the surface and it takes maybe five to seven days to dry. But you should hopefully have a painting that you're happy with. So it's not a waste of paint if you're happy with the end result. It's only a waste of paint if you've gone to all the trouble to, to buy your paint and to do your pour and then you're not happy with it in my opinion anyway. So that's why I use lots and lots of paint so I don't have to stretch too much. All right, let's sit, let, let it sit for a minute and see how this coconut milk hair serum goes. So those that really like cells, we should hopefully, cross fingers, have a flood of cells. All right, let's do this. And I've got heaps of paint, so I am taking it back up the sides. I'll put a little bit here as well. Use it all up. And I've got cells in my cup. Stuck to the cup. Okay. Cells in my cup. Whoa. Okay, so lots of cells already, and they're nice cells actually. They've got multicolored rings, which is fantastic. Must have dripped across there. You have to be so careful when you've picked your cup up that you haven't dripped. Okay, let's move those out of the way just a touch. Keep it on my pedal pad though, so I don't make too much mess. I have got a piece of plastic over my table just to help with containing the mess. All right, let's do a bit of a torch. Pop some bubbles, bring, bring some more cells up. Not too much. I find that torching too much brings caterpillars. I'll go over the, this little corner here. Yeah, I don't like caterpillars and I find that the torch does make caterpillars. So as you can see, lots of little cells. So what I'm going to do is stretch them. And there's a little bubble or something there that I'm just gonna poke it with the end of my little skewer. These are really great to have little bamboo skewers. If you've got anything in there that needs to be picked out. Okay, 
Um, let's go this side first. Lots of paint. See how it's moving around really well? So I can move that really well and my cells aren't going to get broken up because I've got so much paint. Go off to the other corner. Just help that so I don't lose too much off the edge before I get to my corner. Just run a finger under there to loosen that get the paint off okay turn it around so i've got a bit of gray happening i guess from the black and that pale blue it's kind of given me a bit of gray but... and then over here i'm getting a slightly purple hue and that's from this harbonite it's kind of a grayish bluish purple when it came out, I was so excited. I thought it was going to be a, a lovely navy blue, and I bought so much of it. But, uh, yeah, not really happy with it, so I'm just using it up in some of my experiments. Okay, so now we've got good coverage, and I've got lots and lots of cells, but they're not huge. So uh, if you're happy with that, if you, get, if you do this and you're happy with that, those size cells, feel free to leave it. I would like them a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just tilt, although I'd lose all these. These are really pretty. I'll just see what happens. I'll give it a little bit of a movement. There's not much happening down this side here, so I might see if I can get some of that off and stretch the cells down that way. bring it back again all right I think that will do I don't want to do too much more because even though the center doesn't the cells in the center don't really change the paint runs off the sides so your sides tend to stretch more and your edges stretch more where the paint's stretched out and gone over the sides and your middle doesn't tend to change a lot because obviously it's not moving all that much in the middle so you have to keep an eye on what your sides are doing and just accept the fact that your sides are going to have bigger cells and maybe your middle won't have such big cells. I think that's really pretty. I, I don't love the colours, but this is not an experiment for getting beautiful colours. It's just an experiment in, in getting cells, nicely shaped cells. Now I'm not going to torch too much because I don't want a lot more coming up. I just wanted to pop a few little bubbles. So there you go. Lots of cells with our coconut milk hair serum. And they're quite nicely shaped cells too. We've got this lovely little, looks like a pebble walkway here of cells which are bumping into each other. If I hadn't used so much oil, I'd get more of a rounded cell. It's when you have lots of oil of whatever sort you're using and the cells pop up and they all join into each other because you've got so much oil and that's where you lose your round shape because they knock into each other. So they instead of being nice and round, they squash into each other, they're triangles, they're squares, all that sort of thing. But for those that like lots and lots of cells, there you go. Now I'll take you in for close up. So I think those colours are really quite vibrant. It's worked nicely with having the, the two to one pouring medium to paint. I don't know if it's a lot more vibrant than three to one, I, I guess it is. All right, let's take you in for a close up. And I'm not sure if it's focused. I'll just do that so that hopefully the camera can focus. Really love these up here. So pretty. Not so much here. But then I guess I'm very picky with my cell shapes. 
I like them to be nice and round and I like them to be multicolored. So that's what I have been experimenting for. As I said, if I didn't use so much oil, I would get a better shape. But it just shows you what you can do with lots of oil. Okay, uh, now I will keep experimenting. I need to see whether this ratio will swipe well. And I'll be back for the next pour. Bye for now.